get your um get your stick out. <laughs> Ooh, pot. Come on guys, let's go. Afternoon guys, we are out having a bit of a hike this afternoon. Um, I've got a few days down the caravan and it's finally stopped raining. So me, Stu and George have come. We're going to do a little bit of a walk um, along the headland up to Stepper Point into Padstow and just basically get out in the fresh air. It's just so nice to not have any rain at long last. So I um, thought I'd bring my camera, bring you guys with me and... Um, Probably going to be a little bit of a short one, but um, just so that you can see the beautiful scenery of Cornwall. And um, yeah, life of a YouTuber. Look, Stu looks like he's doing fly fishing down there. Jet fly fishing with J.R. Hartley. I ain't got a clue what he's doing. He's just walking with like a big fishing rod, like fly fishing. Some sort of bloody comedians, look. <laughs> Some sort of tour guide. <laughs> what was you saying, Stu? Hmm? What was you saying? Three islands over that way. Oh, yeah. That's Constantine or Constantine? Can't even, can't even pronounce it. Some sort of tour guide you are. I can call it. Get your, um, get your stick out. <laughs> get your stick out. Extend, hey. it, extend it. What? Right over the edge. I'm doing that. Why not? Don't like heights. No, just... What? Get your pole out. Just so we can see over the edge. Put it on record. Just see what... No, it is recording. Put it over the edge there. Line the clock. Oh. Fuck that shit. Oh. Don't like that. <laughs> So yeah, guys, I do apologise for not being on much recently. Quite simply, it's just the weather has been absolutely terrible. I've been meaning to do a wild camp for the last month, but my bag's packed, all my gear's in it. Just every time I go to go out, it's just been sitting down with rain. Do you know what I mean? And I've had this cough that I've had for about five weeks now. I think they're calling it the 100-day cough. So... I've just basically just been chillaxing and that, but I'm gonna try and get a few more videos out. Like I say, I've got my new DJI microphone, Bluetooth one. So I've got that rigged up to the camera today. So it's kind of just like experimenting with new equipment. Now the, the weather's a little bit better. And um, I've been down my caravan. I've got a static caravan down at Padstow a place called St Marin and um, I've spent the weekend down there getting it all set up and unlocking it all up and messing about with some stuff and as the weather was good and Stu come down and gave me a hand um, we decided just to, just to come out and have a little bit of a coastal walk try out some new equipment have a bit of a play around and like I say beautiful beautiful scenery here on the Cornish coast up here is Stepper Point and that's where we're heading towards we're going to walk to st right out to Stepper Point and then walk along the coastal pa path um, along Hawker's Cove into Padstow, have a little bit of a walk around Padstow, possibly get some fish and chips or a pasty or something like that, and then head back to the car. So um, not much more really to say. I don't know how much I am going to film, but um, it's just a case of getting out today and trying out some new stuff and jumping over a hedge and probably gonna break my neck. Oh. And um, get in the comments, tell me what, what you guys have been up to. Hello my friend. It's the walking eyebrow. <laughs> we 
what I was going to say as well, guys, is thank you very much for all the people that subscribed on my last video. I said that when we get to 200 subscribers, um, my little boy, Zach, is going to be coming out on a wild camp. Um, it is going to be happening soon. He's just been very, very busy with football and the weather has been so bad. I didn't want him to come out on a wild camp, his first wild camp in the rain and the wind and all that lot and um, put him off of it. So we're going to leave it a few weeks once we know it's a little bit better weather and then he's going to be coming out. So thank you for all you people that have subscribed. He's, he's very, he is looking forward to coming out, but um, we're just waiting for the right time. And also I've got a new bit of kit that came in the post yesterday. Um, I think if you can remember when I've done the Saints Way at the end of the, at the end of it, I was talking about making my pack size smaller and, and losing some pack size weight. Well, I've got a new rucksack. It's the Sierra, De Sierra Designs Flux Capacitor, 40 to 60 litre. That came in the post set yesterday. Got an absolute bargain. I think it was originally 170 pounds and I managed to get it for 160. I managed to get it for 69 pounds from 170, so 100 pounds saving. So that's absolutely fantastic. So now I'm looking for a through walk tent, something really light to be able to take on hikes. So if any of you have got any ideas, please put them in the comments. A nice light tent that packs down light so that I, for my through walking. I've been looking at the Lansham One. I've been looking at the Falraven Abisco One. So get in the comments, guys, if you've got any ideas of a cracking tent, a real lightweight tent, put it in the um, comments and I'll have a look at it, do my YouTube research and um, I'll get one soon. Woo, part. Look at those pair of rab scallions in front, look. Hey. I've been walking up like this a few times, I've been on this coastal path, and there's an absolute cracking little potential wild camping spot up here that I'd like to share with you. But look at the views here, look. Absolutely stunning. There in the distance, is Constantine Bay and then next to it you got Trianon. Over that way in the distance you can see the estuary that is um, the Camel, River Camel. You've got Poles F over there, Dama Bay and Padstow. So this here guys is where I was thinking about. Obviously there's the coastal path in front but just up over this mound here I was thinking about doing a little wild camp here at some point. There's like a little clearing. Look at that, look. Nice little clearing for a, a bivvy camp. Or potentially down here, look. Little bivvy camp here. I mean, admittedly, at the moment, it is like the ground is soddened and it's a little bit lumpy. But look, imagine just laying there, looking out to that in the morning. Absolutely amazing. There's Padstow there in the distance, George and Stu come in. You've got River Camel, Padstow, Poles F, Damar. But it's an absolutely beautiful spot. And I think that this would be a great little little wild camping spot, just perhaps down here somewhere. Could probably put two or three tents up there or a bivvy for the night. Let us know what you think in the comments. Listen to him, look. Like a fucking married couple behind. They haven't, they haven't stopped talking. So pretty. Probably. Probably get bit by an adder, yeah. 
Oh yeah, yeah. So guys, we are at Stepper Point. I don't know what the purpose of this was for, you know, why it was being, was built here. You know, I mean, why would you come right out on a point and build a flipping great chimney? It'd be a bit of a nightmare, wouldn't it? But it is beautiful, it is beautiful. This is Stepper Point, so there we are. Poles F over there. Look at that. Take you inside. It's my new house, guys. Bought it yesterday. In we go, in we go. Look at this man. Pardon? Oh, lovely. <laughs> Got the old um, lifeboat lookout tower up there. I don't know if you can see it on top of the hill there. It's poles there from the distance. I almost feel that I should go into like Bushman and blue mode and start running like ow here we go I'm off I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to last but it's hellish muddy oh, 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 oh. it is hellish muddy Come on, guys, let's go. How long before I fall over? Oh, I'm done. Right, here we are, guys. We are coming over the top of Stepper Hill, or Stepper Step, Stepper Point, Stepper Step. <laughs> and this is where you look down, beautiful views of the Camel Trail, the Camel Toe Trail, um, Hawker's Cove in front of us, into Padstow. We were just saying just a minute ago, I'd love to lose a bit of weight and start running the coastal path like I was just a minute ago. Well, it wasn't really a run or a jog, more like a waddle, to be honest with you. But um, it is pretty cool. Um, me and George was doing a, a, a coastal path walk and we'd done a bivvy camp down near... Porth Kerno, I think it was, and about two o'clock in the morning, these two, a bloke and his missus, was out running with head torches on, and, um, you know, we take a mick, and like, what are those idiots doing? But they probably thought the same about me and George when they saw us out on the cliff tops. But, now nah, I'd like to get fit and get back into my running and coastal path running, <laughs> midges. But, yeah, look at that, guys. Beautiful scenery. A Cornish coastal path. What a beautiful, beautiful thing.
Bloody midgets. <laughs> Shit flies, they're everywhere. You having fun, George? Yeah, it's been a lovely day, mate, isn't it? It's been a lovely day. Bloody midgies. What's been your favourite part, George? What's been your favourite part? What's been your favourite part? Nice. <laughs> Coming down to the old lifeboat station now. Not sure if it's down there or down here. But one of the two is an old lifeboat station. Look at this look, Hawker's Cove, absolutely stunning. Miles and miles of sand on the Camel Estuary. Nice. <laughs> you what? It says low battery, your mic's not working. It is working. Okay. What did you say? That was a good spot for camping. Yeah, just that way. Follow me. So we was going to go into Padstow and have some fish and chips, but George decided not to um, because he's got to get home. No, the truth of the matter is it's what half past four on a Sunday afternoon and it's now starting to rain. We need the rain. It, you know, it's a little bit, we haven't had any rain for ages, have we, George? So, no, it is nice to have a drop of rain. No, in all honesty, guys, it just feels, it's just rained in Cornwall for about six months every single day. So um, we've decided to bail and walk back to the car. We've had a lovely day, haven't we, George? We've had a lovely day. <laughs> but it's beginning to mizzle now, that, that fine rain, isn't it, George? So we're going to head on back to the car and then we're going to go back to the caravan and we're going to have a nice Chinese for tea. What do you fancy, George? What do you want from the Chinese? Beef chow mein? I fancy a duck curry. Oh, duck. Succulent duck. Uh, it will be open, because if it's not open, we're going to break in and make it ourselves. So, I'm bloody hungry now. Food. F food is one of the best inventions in the world. Can't live without it, mate. Spring birds are out. You and me, George, that is the spring birds. Spring chickens on a coastal walk, 2024, fluffing up our wings, airing our backsides to the world, <laughs> getting ready to lay an egg. <laughs> lay a little egg for me. It's Easter soon, isn't it? So guys, back on the road now. We've done the stepper point loop. It's about three miles, I think, in total, but weather's getting a little bit mizzly now, so we've decided to head back to the car. Um, hope you enjoyed this one. I don't know how much I'm gonna put out on this video, 
don't know how long it'll be. It's just basically the whole purpose of this video is experimenting with my new camera and my new microphone and having a bit of a play around with it, to be honest with you. So if you like this video and you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing, tell a friend and all that sort of gubbins. I will put a, a link up to buy me a beer to, um, if you fancy donating a little bit of spondoolies to buy new equipment, it is very much appreciated. But um, yeah, I am gonna try and get out. I've got the week off now, so I'm gonna try and get out in the week and possibly, possibly do my first ever solo camp. So watch out for that one. If it pops up, it pops up. If it doesn't, I think we're going out with the boys on the 20th of April, but I wanna try and get more and more content out in the next few months, just try and remain a bit consistent as well as doing my podcast, my Mark Jeffrey show. You know, I've just been trying to get more content out recently. So um, thank you very much for watching and um, till next time, 10-10 till we see you again.